Have you ever wondered about the best places to retire in Kenya? Let's embark on a journey to the heart of East Africa, where the sun shines year round, the culture is rich and vibrant, and the cost of living is surprisingly affordable. Kenya, a diverse and dynamic land, offers a unique blend of modern conveniences and traditional charm, making it an attractive choice for retirement. Imagine waking up to the majestic view of Mount Kilimanjaro, sauntering through the bustling markets of Nairobi, or enjoying a quiet afternoon on the pristine beaches of Mombasa. From the laid-back coastal towns to the bustling urban centres, Kenya's diverse landscapes offer a multitude of options for your retirement haven. Whether you're attracted by the warm climate, the welcoming culture, or the opportunity to live comfortably on a budget, Kenya has something to offer for everyone. So, fasten your seatbelts and grab your safari hats. Join us as we explore the top 12 destinations for retirees in this East African gem. First on our list, we land in Nairobi, Kenya's bustling capital. Known as the green city in the sun, Nairobi is a vibrant metropolis that seamlessly merges the rapid pace of urban life with the tranquil beauty of nature. In Nairobi, the city life is anything but mundane. You'll find a bustling arts and culture scene that's reflected in the numerous art galleries and theatres scattered across the city. The Nairobi National Museum and the Nairobi Gallery, for instance, offer a deep dive into Kenya's rich history and diverse culture. For the food lovers, Nairobi is a culinary paradise. The city's restaurants serve up a smorgasbord of cuisines from around the world, from traditional Kenyan dishes to international fare. And let's not forget Nairobi's coffee culture. It's a well-known fact that Kenya produces some of the world's best coffee, and Nairobi's coffee houses are the perfect place to sample it. But it's not all about the hustle and bustle. Despite being a major city, Nairobi is unique in its accessibility to wildlife. The Nairobi National Park, a stone's throw from the city centre, is home to a variety of wildlife, including lions, giraffes, zebras, and even rhinos. For birdwatchers, the Nairobi Safari Walk and the Nairobi Bird Sanctuary are must-visit spots. When it comes to amenities, Nairobi doesn't disappoint. The city is well-equipped with modern healthcare facilities, shopping malls, and recreational centres. And for those who enjoy a round of golf, Nairobi boasts some of the best golf courses in East Africa. Living in Nairobi also means you're never too far from a weekend getaway. The city's strategic location makes it a gateway to numerous national parks and reserves, and the beautiful beaches of the Kenyan coast are just a short flight away. In terms of cost of living, while Nairobi is one of the pricier cities in Kenya, it's still significantly cheaper than many Western cities. Plus, the quality of life it offers makes it worth every penny. Nairobi truly offers a vibrant, cosmopolitan lifestyle for the urban retiree. So if you're the type who enjoys the city life, Nairobi might just be the perfect place for you to retire. Next, we journey to Mombasa, a coastal city known for its stunning beaches. This vibrant city, the second largest in Kenya, is where tranquility meets history, offering a unique blend of the old and the new, the peaceful and the lively, all wrapped up in a tropical paradise. Imagine waking up to the sound of the Indian Ocean's waves gently lapping at the shore, the salty breeze twirling through the palm leaves and the warm sun painting the sky in hues of pink and gold. This is not a vacation. This is daily life in Mombasa. The city's tranquil lifestyle is a draw, particularly for those seeking a slower pace after years of the nine to five grind. Here, time seems to take a back seat, allowing you to fully immerse in the present moment. You can spend your days strolling along the white sandy beaches, basking in the warm sun, or perhaps taking a leisurely swim in the azure waters. But Mombasa is not just about the beaches. The city is steeped in rich history, evident in its myriad of historic sites. The centuries-old Fort Jesus, for instance, stands as a testament to the city's diverse cultural influences. It's a fascinating journey into the past, offering a glimpse of the city's storied history. The Mombasa Tusks, a famous landmark, are another must-visit. These giant aluminium tusks, constructed to commemorate Queen Elizabeth's visit in 1956, intersect over Moy Avenue, creating a unique spectacle that symbolises the entrance into the heart of the city. The local cuisine is a delightful fusion of African, Arab and European influences, offering a culinary adventure that is sure to tantalise your taste buds. From the fresh seafood to the exotic spices, every meal here is a celebration of flavours. 
Mombasa, with its laid-back lifestyle, gorgeous beaches and rich history, is a captivating city that promises a serene and fulfilling retirement. So, if you've ever dreamt of retiring by the sea, with the sand between your toes and the sun on your face, Mombasa is the city for you. For those who dream of a seaside retirement, Mombasa awaits. Our next stop is Nakuru, a haven for nature lovers. Nestled in the heart of Kenya's Great Rift Valley, Nakuru is a gem of natural beauty that's sure to captivate the hearts of those seeking tranquility and a close connection with Mother Earth. Imagine waking up to the melodious symphony of birds and the gentle rustling of leaves, all against the backdrop of the awe-inspiring Menengai Crater. These are the sights and sounds that make Nakuru a treasure trove for nature enthusiasts. One of the city's crowning jewels is Lake Nakuru National Park, famed for its flamboyant flamingos painting the lake pink and its rich biodiversity that includes black and white rhinos, lions, giraffes, and over 400 species of birds. It's an open invitation for you to indulge in the thrill of safari drives or peaceful bird watching sessions right at your doorstep. But Nakuru is not just about wildlife. The city is home to the tranquil Hyrax Hill, a prehistoric site that offers a fascinating glimpse into the region's rich history and heritage. And let's not forget the Menengai Crater, one of the largest calderas in the world, offering breathtaking views that could inspire poets and artists alike. Nakuru's serene environment is complemented by its warm and welcoming community. The locals are known for their hospitality, creating a sense of belonging that makes settling down here feel like coming home. With a variety of recreational activities, cultural experiences and community events, there's always something to keep you engaged. Moreover, the cost of living in Nakuru is reasonably lower compared to larger cities like Nairobi and Mombasa. So you can enjoy a relaxed lifestyle without breaking the bank. The city also boasts a good healthcare system and easy access to amenities, making it an ideal place for retirees. In Nakuru, retirement is not just about slowing down. It's about embracing a lifestyle that's full of discovery, relaxation, and a deep sense of connection with nature. So if you dream of retiring amidst lush green landscapes, vibrant wildlife, and a rich cultural heritage, Nakuru is the place to be. Nakuru offers a peaceful retirement among nature's finest landscapes. We move to Nanyuki, a charming town nestled at the foothills of Mount Kenya. This picturesque location is a haven for those with an inclination for the great outdoors. You'll find a wealth of exhilarating activities, from hiking the sublime trails of Mount Kenya to game drives in the nearby Old Pejeta Conservancy, home to a diverse array of wildlife there's also the opportunity for more leisurely pursuits, such as golfing on lush, high-altitude courses or fishing in the crystal-clear mountain streams. The climate in Nanyuki is a delightful blend of warmth and coolness, offering sunny days and cooler nights, a perfect balance for those who appreciate the changing rhythms of nature. The town is situated on the equator, yet its high altitude gifts it with a unique, temperate climate that is comfortable all year round. It's a place where you can soak up the African sun without the intense heat of the coast. Life in Nanyuki is a blend of the tranquil and the vibrant. The community lifestyle here is active and engaging with a healthy mix of locals and expatriates. You'll find a wealth of social events and clubs to participate in, from sports clubs to cultural societies, and even a thriving farmer's market where you can sample the freshest local produce. Nanyuki also boasts a range of amenities to cater to your every need. There are shopping malls, restaurants serving both local and international cuisine, and healthcare facilities that offer top-notch services. Yet, despite these urban comforts, Nanyuki maintains a small-town charm that's truly endearing. In essence, Nanyuki is a place where the pace of life can be as fast or as slow as you want it to be. It's a place where you can wake up to the sight of Mount Kenya's snowy peaks, spend the day exploring the wilderness and then relax in the evening with good food, good company and the soothing sounds of nature. For the adventurous retiree, Nanyuki offers a vibrant and active retirement. Now let's sail to Lamu, an island steeped in history and culture. A jewel on Kenya's northern coastline, Lamu is a place where time appears to have stood still, an aspect that only adds to its charm. 
unhurried and untamed, this island paradise boasts a rich cultural heritage that is as captivating as its tranquil lifestyle. Lamu is a treasure trove of Swahili culture. It's an island where centuries-old traditions are still part of everyday life. Dao sailing, an ancient maritime craft, is a common sight here, as are the winding streets of Lamu Old Town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The labyrinthine alleyways of this oldest and best-preserved Swahili settlement in East Africa are a testament to the region's historical and cultural richness. With its beautifully preserved buildings that date back to the 14th century, Lamu's architecture is a sight to behold. The island's unique building style, with influences from Arab, Persian, Indian and European cultures, is epitomised in its coral stone and mangrove timber houses. These charming houses, with their ornate wooden doors and rooftop patios, offer a peek into a bygone era. But it's not just about the past in Lamu. The island also offers a tranquil lifestyle that's hard to find elsewhere. With no cars allowed, donkeys remain the primary mode of transport, adding to the laid-back atmosphere. The rhythm of life here is dictated by the tides, the moon and the sun. The simplicity of life in Lamu is a welcome respite from the hustle and bustle of modern city living. The cuisine, an enticing blend of Swahili, Arabic and Indian influences, is a gastronomic delight. Fresh seafood, tropical fruits and an array of spices are the staples here. Food lovers will be in seventh heaven with the tantalising flavours on offer. Lamu offers a culturally rich and tranquil retirement for those seeking peace and quiet. It's a place where you can immerse yourself in a vibrant culture, savour sumptuous food and live a simple, unhurried life. For those yearning for a serene and enriching retirement, Lamu is a destination worth considering. Welcome to Diani Beach, a paradise for beach lovers. Imagine a stretch of 20 kilometres of pristine sandy beach kissed by the warm waters of the Indian Ocean. This is Diani Beach, a gem on the south coast of Kenya and a haven for those seeking a relaxed beachside lifestyle in retirement. The allure of Diani Beach extends beyond the azure waters and the soft white sands. The beach is framed by lush greenery, a vibrant testament to the area's tropical climate. Here, you'll find the perfect blend of tranquility and adventure with an array of water sports to indulge in. From snorkeling among the coral reefs, teeming with vibrant marine life, to kite surfing on the winds that skim across the water's surface, there's an activity to suit every inclination. But it's not all about the thrill of the waves. Diani Beach is also a sanctuary for those who prefer their days a little slower, a little more laid back. Picture yourself lounging under the shade of a palm tree, book in hand, as the rhythm of the waves provides the soundtrack to your day. Or perhaps taking a leisurely stroll along the beach at sunset, the sky painted with hues of pink and orange, as you leave your footprints in the sand. In terms of amenities, Diani Beach has everything you need for a comfortable retirement. There are shopping centres, restaurants serving delicious local and international cuisine, and health facilities. And let's not forget the Diani Beach Art Gallery, where you can immerse yourself in the rich cultural tapestry of Kenya. Socialising is a breeze here with a friendly, welcoming community. Whether you're joining the local golf club or participating in beach cleanups, you'll find plenty of opportunities to make friends and contribute to this vibrant community. In essence, Diani Beach is more than just a beautiful location. It's a lifestyle. It's the chance to wake up every day to the sound of the ocean, to live at a slower pace, and to immerse yourself in the beauty of nature. Diani Beach offers a dreamy beachside retirement for those who love the sun, sea and sand. Our journey continues to Malindi, a resort town known for its Italian influence. Nestled on the Kenyan coast, this charming town is a delightful mix of cultures, cuisines and captivating natural beauty. Malindi's Italian flair is a melting pot of cultures, where the rhythms of Africa blend seamlessly with European influences. It's not uncommon to hear Swahili, English and Italian spoken in the same breath, making for a vibrant multicultural atmosphere that is both engaging and enriching. The town's beautiful beaches are a sight to behold. Stretching out under the warm African sun, they're fringed by azure waters that invite you to take a dip or engage in water sports. These beaches are not just for basking in the sun, they are gateways to a world of marine life. Snorkeling or diving in the Malindi Marine National Park will reveal a kaleidoscope of colours and shapes as you swim among coral gardens brimming with tropical fish. Food lovers are in for a treat in Malindi. 
The town offers a variety of dining options that cater to different tastes and preferences. From traditional African dishes to Italian cuisine, the gastronomic scene in Malindi is as diverse as its cultural fabric. Seafood, naturally, is a big part of the menu here. Freshly caught fish, prawns, lobsters and crabs are prepared in a myriad of ways, offering a culinary journey that will tantalise your taste buds. The town also boasts a thriving arts scene. Artisans, sculptors and painters from different parts of the world have made Malindi their home, contributing to its vibrant arts culture. Visiting local art galleries and studios is a delightful way to spend an afternoon, immersing oneself in the creative spirit of this coastal town. Retiring in Malindi means embracing a laid-back lifestyle under the African sun, surrounded by natural beauty and enriched by a multicultural community. It's a place where every day brings with it the promise of a new adventure, a new dish to taste, or a new piece of art to admire. Malindi offers a unique blend of cultures for a fascinating retirement. Next, we head to Eldoret, a city that's a hub for sports and agriculture. Nestled in the Rift Valley region of Kenya, Eldoret is a city whose heartbeat is as vibrant as its landscapes are green. Eldoret is a city that thrives on movement. It's the home of champions as many Kenyan world-class athletes hail from this high-altitude city. Running isn't just a sport here, it's a way of life. The city pulses with the rhythmic beat of runners' feet hitting the pavement, echoing the determination and resilience of the individuals who call Eldoret home. It's a place where you can't help but be inspired to put on your running shoes and join the community in their daily pursuit of excellence. But Eldoret isn't just known for its sporting prowess, it's also a city that's deeply connected to the earth. The fertile soils are a quilt of green dotted with farms producing a bounty of crops. From maize to wheat, dairy to horticulture, Eldoret's agricultural scene is as diverse as it is robust. The city's connection to the earth extends to its people, who are grounded, hard-working and welcoming. Living in Eldoret means becoming part of a community that values connection and collaboration. The city is a tapestry of cultures with people from different tribes and backgrounds living together in harmony. It's a place where neighbours become friends and friends become family. The local markets are a social hub, filled with the hustle and bustle of vendors selling fresh produce, handcrafted items and vibrant textiles. The beauty of Eldoret isn't just in its landscapes or its people, but in the rhythm of everyday life. The city hums with a quiet energy, a fusion of the determination of its athletes, the hard work of its farmers and the warmth of its community. It's a place that invites you to become part of its tapestry, to add your own thread to the vibrant fabric of its story. Eldoret offers a retirement full of energy and engagement with its close-knit community. In Eldoret, you won't just be retiring, you'll be embarking on a new adventure. We now come to Naivasha, famous for its beautiful lake and abundant wildlife. This tranquil town nestled in the Great Rift Valley is a haven for those who crave a peaceful, nature-filled retirement. Naivasha is graced with a breathtaking lake, Lake Naivasha, the highest of the Rift Valley lakes. It's a spectacle to behold, with its sparkling water that mirrors the sky and the enchanting chorus of the birds that have made the lake their home. The lake is not just a feast for the eyes, but also an oasis of adventure. From boat rides to bird watching, fishing to photography, Lake Naivasha provides a plethora of outdoor activities for the nature enthusiast. The town is also blessed with an abundance of wildlife. Hell's Gate National Park, located just a stone's throw away from Naivasha, is a must visit for any wildlife lover. Here, you can cycle or walk alongside zebras, giraffes and other wildlife, soaking in the untamed beauty of the African savannah. If you're lucky, you might even spot a lion or two, but it's not just the wildlife and the lake that make Naivasha a great place to retire, it's also the lifestyle. The pace of life here is slow and unhurried, perfect for those who want to escape the bustle of city life. The people are friendly, the air is fresh, and the views are nothing short of spectacular. Moreover, Naivasha is not isolated from the comforts of modern living. The town has well-established infrastructure and amenities, including hospitals, shopping centres and a variety of restaurants. So, while you might feel like you're in the heart of nature, you're never too far from the conveniences of city life. In essence, Naivasha is a place where you can truly live in harmony with nature. 
It's a town where you can wake up to the chirping of birds, spend your day exploring the wild, and retire for the night under a starlit sky. It's a place where you can enjoy your golden years in the lap of nature, yet have all the comforts of modern living at your fingertips. Naivasha offers a nature-filled retirement for those who love the great outdoors. Our next destination is Watamu, a small town with a big reputation for its marine national park. Tucked away on the Kenyan coast, Watamu is a hidden gem that is known for its rich marine life and pristine beaches. This small coastal town is home to the Watamu Marine National Park, one of the best kept secrets of Kenya. The park is a haven for an array of marine life, from the vibrant coral reefs that paint the ocean floor to the colorful schools of fish that dart through the crystal clear waters. It's a veritable underwater rainbow, a sight that is sure to take your breath away, but Watamu's charm doesn't end under the sea. Above the surface, you'll find beautiful beaches that stretch as far as the eye can see. The white sandy beaches lapped gently by the warm Indian Ocean provide the perfect place to soak up the sun or take a leisurely stroll. And with the equator just a stone's throw, you can expect year-round sunshine, making every day feel like a summer holiday. Yet what makes Watamu truly special is its tranquil lifestyle. Life here moves at its own pace, unhurried and unbothered. It's a place where you can forget about the hustle and bustle of city life and simply enjoy the serenity that comes with living by the sea. Whether it's watching the local fishermen set out at dawn, exploring the mangrove forests, or simply enjoying a sundowner as the sky paints itself in hues of orange and purple, Watamu offers an escape like no other. And let's not forget about the friendly locals. The people of Watamu are known for their warm hospitality, always ready with a smile and a helping hand. They are the heart and soul of this coastal town, adding to its charm and making it feel like home. So if you're dreaming of a retirement that's filled with sunny days, stunning wildlife and a laid back lifestyle, Watamu might just be the place for you. It's a quiet corner of the world that offers an unparalleled connection to nature and a sense of peace that's hard to find elsewhere. Watamu offers a marine paradise for a retirement full of sun, sea and spectacular wildlife. Finally, we arrive at Thika, a town known for its lush plantations and scenic waterfalls. Nestled in the heart of Kenya, Thika is a verdant oasis that stands as a testament to the country's abundant natural beauty. This town is truly a paradise for nature lovers, with the green of the plantation stretching as far as the eye can see. Thika is famed for its expansive pineapple and coffee plantations, which provide a significant portion of Kenya's agricultural output. These plantations not only contribute to the town's economic vitality, but also add a unique charm and beauty to the landscape. Imagine waking up to the sight of sunlight filtering through the green leaves of the plantation and the sweet aroma of pineapples in the air. The town offers plantation tours that are a treat for the senses. You'll have the opportunity to stroll through the green fields, learn about the intricate process of growing and harvesting, and even sample some of the freshest produce straight from the source. It's an experience that brings you closer to nature and gives a whole new meaning to the phrase farm to table. But the beauty of Thika extends beyond its plantations. The town is home to stunning waterfalls, such as the Chania and Thika Falls, which add a touch of serenity to the landscape. The rhythmic sound of water cascading down the rocks, the cool mist that sprays your face, the rainbow that forms in the spray. It's a symphony of nature that's sure to leave you spellbound. The community lifestyle in Thika is warm and welcoming. Here, you'll find people who value the simple joys of life, a friendly chat over a cup of freshly brewed coffee, a leisurely stroll through the plantations, or a quiet afternoon spent by the waterfall. It's a slower pace of life that allows you to savour each moment. Thika presents a picturesque and peaceful retirement for those who love green landscapes and a relaxed lifestyle. It's a place where you can immerse yourself in the beauty of nature, engage with a vibrant community, and truly enjoy the golden years of your life. And that wraps up our journey through the best places to retire in Kenya. We've taken a virtual tour from the bustling streets of Nairobi, with its vibrant cultural scene and dynamic energy, to the tranquil beaches of Mombasa, where the rhythm of life is dictated by the ebb and flow of the Indian Ocean. We've explored the charming town of Nakuru, nestled in the Great Rift Valley, and the serene landscapes of Nanyuki, a haven for nature lovers. 
we've strolled through the historical lanes of Lamu, marveled at the pristine beauty of Diani Beach and soaked up the sun in Malindi. We've admired the thriving agricultural city of Eldoret, enjoyed the scenic views of Naivasha, discovered the underwater paradise of Watamu and basked in the tranquility of Thika. From bustling cities to tranquil towns, from sunny beaches to lush highlands, Kenya offers a diverse range of lifestyle options for the discerning retiree. No matter what your retirement dreams are, Kenya has a place that's just right for you. Imagine sinking your teeth into a warm piece of ugali, a classic Kenyan staple that's been paired with a hearty stew. Welcome, food lovers and travel enthusiasts, to an adventure of flavors and textures that is Kenyan cuisine. This is a culinary journey that promises to leave your palate intrigued and your taste buds craving for more. Kenyan cuisine is a vibrant amalgamation of traditional cooking methods, diverse ingredients, and the rich cultural heritage of its people. It's a cuisine that's not just about feeding the body, but also the soul. First up, we have ugali, a staple food made from cornmeal that serves as the perfect accompaniment to a variety of dishes. Then there's Kenyan pilau, a spiced rice dish bursting with flavors, often cooked with meat and vegetables. Sukuma wiki, a nutritious dish of collard greens sautéed with onions and spices, is a testament to the Kenyan ethos of making the most out of simple ingredients. And who can forget Niyama Choma? This grilled meat dish, often goat or beef, is a beloved Kenyan delicacy, usually enjoyed with friends and family at social gatherings. Kenyan chapati, a soft layered flatbread, and maharagwe, a hearty bean stew, offer comforting warmth and satisfaction. The matoke, a dish of cooked bananas, adds a surprising and delightful twist to the menu. Waliwanatsi, coconut rice and githeri, a mix of boiled corn and beans, are testament to the coastal and agricultural influences on Kenyan cuisine. And finally, we have mandazi, a sweet, donut-like treat that rounds off a meal or serves as a snack, adding a touch of sweetness to this savory journey. Each dish tells a story of the people, the land, and the culture. It's a story of resilience, creativity, and an enduring love for good food. Join us on this culinary journey as we explore the delightful intricacies of Kenyan dishes. Ugali, the Kenyan staple, is a smooth and filling dish made from cornmeal. This humble yet hearty meal is a testament to the resourcefulness and simplicity of traditional Kenyan cooking. So what does it take to make ugali? The ingredients are refreshingly straightforward, just cornmeal and water. However, the magic of ugali lies in the cooking process which transforms these simple components into a dish that is both versatile and satisfying. To embark on the ugali-making journey, you first need a good quality cornmeal. In Kenya, it's typically white cornmeal, locally known as unga. The texture should be fine, almost powdery, ensuring the end result is smooth and lump-free. The quantity of cornmeal needed will depend on how many mouths you're feeding, but a good rule of thumb is a cup of cornmeal per person. The second, and only other ingredient, is water. The ratio of water to cornmeal is crucial for achieving the desired consistency. A common guide is two parts water to one part cornmeal. It's important to note that ugali is meant to be quite dense, so don't be tempted to add too much water. Now on to the cooking process. Start by bringing your water to a boil in a sturdy pot. Once the water is bubbling, gradually add the cornmeal, stirring continuously. This is where the real artistry comes in. The stirring technique, known as kukuroga in Swahili, involves using a wooden spoon to beat the mixture vigorously, eliminating any lumps and ensuring a smooth consistency. As the mixture thickens, you'll need to switch from stirring to kneading. This is done by pressing the mixture against the sides of the pot with the back of your spoon, folding it over and repeating. This process is continued until the ugali pulls cleanly away from the sides of the pot, indicating it's done. Once cooked, ugali is typically molded into a round shape and served warm. It's a very versatile dish, pairing well with a variety of accompaniments, from vegetables and legumes to meat and fish. However, a classic Kenyan combination is ugali served with sukuma wiki, a type of collard greens sautéed with onions and tomatoes. So there you have it, the art of making ugali. It's a process that requires patience, a bit of elbow grease, and above all, a sense of connection to the traditions of Kenya. Despite its simplicity or perhaps because of it, ugali is a dish that is deeply ingrained in Kenyan culture. 
It's a meal that brings people together, a symbol of hospitality, and a testament to the resourcefulness of Kenyan cooking. Ugali, a simple yet satisfying dish that underlines the beauty of Kenyan cuisine. Kenyan pilau, a fragrant rice dish is a culinary representation of the country's diverse cultural influences. A bold medley of aromatic spices and hearty ingredients, its origins can be traced back to the Indian subcontinent. Yet it has been embraced and adapted by Kenyan culture to create a unique dish that is a staple in many households and gatherings. So what exactly goes into the making of this delightful dish? The heart of Kenyan pilau lies in its blend of spices. Cumin, coriander, cardamom, and cloves form the base of the spice mix, creating a warm and aromatic foundation. Black pepper and cinnamon are also often added for an extra kick and a hint of sweetness respectively. These spices are gently toasted in hot oil or ghee to release their flavors, an important step that enhances the overall taste of the dish. The next key ingredient is the rice. Long grain rice is typically used and it is crucial to rinse it thoroughly before cooking to remove any excess starch. This ensures that each grain remains separate, resulting in a fluffy and non-sticky final product. Following the rice, we have the protein. While beef and chicken are the most common choices, it's not uncommon to find variations of pilau with goat meat, fish, or even vegetarian versions with hearty vegetables like potatoes and peas. The protein is cooked with onions, garlic, and ginger, adding even more layers of flavor to the dish. Once the protein has been browned and the onions have softened, the toasted spices are added back into the pot, along with the rinsed rice. The ingredients are stirred together, ensuring that each grain of rice is coated in the spice mix. Then a rich chicken or beef stock is added, providing the liquid needed for the rice to cook and imbuing the dish with a deep savory flavor. The pot is then covered, and the pilau is left to simmer on low heat. This slow cooking process allows the flavors to melt together and penetrate the rice, resulting in a dish that is flavorful from the first bite to the last. After about 20 to 30 minutes, when the rice is tender and the liquid has been absorbed, the pilau is ready. It's typically served with a side of kachumbari, a fresh tomato and onion salad that provides a refreshing counterpoint to the rich and spicy pilau. An aromatic and deliciously spiced dish, Kenyan pilau is a true testament to the country's culinary diversity. Each bite carries the story of centuries of cultural exchange and adaptation, creating a dish that is as rich in history as it is in flavor. Welcome to the heart of Kenya, where the culinary scene is as vibrant diverse as the rich tapestry of its culture. Here we delve into the delights of Sukuma Wiki, Nyama Choma, Kenyan Chapati, Maharagwe, Matoke, Waliwanatsi, Githeri, and Mandazi. Sukuma Wiki, a hearty and nutritious dish, is a staple in Kenyan households. This leafy green wonder, often collard greens or kale, is simmered with a mix of onions, tomatoes, and a sprinkle of local spices until it reaches a tender, flavorful state. Then we have the Nyama Choma, Kenya's signature barbecue. This succulent grilled meat, often goat or beef, is marinated in a secret blend of spices, slow roasted over an open fire, and served with a side of piquant kachumbari salad. Our culinary journey takes us next to the Kenyan chapati, a deliciously flaky and soft flatbread made from wheat flour. It's kneaded, rolled, and lightly fried to create layers of buttery goodness that melt in your mouth. Next, there's maharagwe, a comforting stew of red kidney beans slow cooked in a rich tangy tomato sauce, infused with the warmth of ginger and garlic. We then move on to matok, a dish of green bananas, often cooked in a pot with meat, tomatoes, onions, and a blend of spices until it transforms into a thick, savory stew. Waliwa Nazi, a fragrant coconut rice, is a coastal delight. The rice is boiled in creamy coconut milk, infusing every grain with a subtle sweetness and a hint of tropical aroma. Githeri, a wholesome medley of maize and beans, is boiled and often sautéed with vegetables, creating a nutrient-packed filling meal. Finally, we end our culinary exploration with mandazi, a sweet treat. These fluffy golden donuts are lightly spiced with cardamom and coconut, and fried to perfection, offering a delightful end to any meal. As we journey through the diverse landscape of Kenyan cuisine, we discover that every dish tells a story, a tale of tradition, community, and the love of good food. Each bite is a celebration, a testament to Kenya's rich culinary heritage. Kenyan cuisine, a delightful fusion of flavors, textures, and cultures, offers something for every palate.
With a rich and diverse gastronomic history, Kenya's culinary landscape is an exciting blend of indigenous traditions, Asian influences, and European infusion. Let's take a moment to reflect on the dishes we've explored today. First off, we started with ugali, the Kenyan staple made from fine cornmeal. This humble dish, often paired with sukuma wiki, a delectable collard greens and tomato concoction, forms the bedrock of the Kenyan diet. Then we moved on to pilau, a delightful aromatic rice dish. Infused with a variety of spices and often accompanied with meat or vegetables, pilau is a testament to Kenya's coastal trading history and the influence of Indian and Arabic flavors. Our journey continued with Nyama Choma, Kenya's answer to the barbecue. This grilled meat dish, often goat or beef, is a social event in itself, bringing communities together in celebration. We also delved into the world of Kenyan chapati, a versatile flatbread with roots tracing back to the Indian subcontinent, and maharagwe, a hearty red bean stew that warms the soul. From there we ventured into the world of matoke, a savory banana dish, and waliwanatsi, coconut rice that transports you to the Kenyan coast with each bite. We also explored githeri, a wholesome mix of maize and beans, a staple for the Kikuyu tribe. And lastly we ended on a sweet note with mandazi, the Kenyan donut. A sweet, fluffy and lightly spiced bread that's the perfect end to any meal or a delightful snack on its own. From Mugali to Mandazi we've covered an array of Kenyan dishes that truly embody the spirit and culture of this incredible nation. So the next time you're in the mood for a culinary adventure why not try one of these Kenyan delicacies? Have you ever wondered what it's like to be a part of the Maasai tribe, with their rich and unique customs? Nestled between Tanzania and Kenya, the Maasai people captivate with their vibrant traditions and indomitable spirit. Whether it's a high-spirited jumping contest or a unique culinary experience, their culture is a tapestry woven with threads of intrigue and resilience. And what if I told you we're heading on a five-day trek into their world, culminating in a climb up their sacred mountain? Join me as we embark on a journey into the heart of the Maasai tribe and attempt a life-changing summit. The journey begins in the Ngorongoro Highlands, where the air is crisp and the anticipation palpable. We are on a five-day trek, a journey through the heart of Maasai land. The highlands are a sight to behold, with the lush green vegetation contrasting sharply against the azure sky. There's a sense of tranquility that echoes through the valleys, punctuated by the occasional call of a distant bird or the rustle of the wind through the trees. Our path meanders through the rolling hills, each step taking us deeper into this untouched wilderness. The beauty of the landscape is almost surreal, like a scene from a painting that's come to life. And yet it's very much real, the rich scent of the earth and the symphony of nature serving as constant reminders. The excitement among us is tangible, a shared emotion that binds us together. We are here, not just as visitors, but as participants, eager to immerse ourselves in the rich Maasai culture that has thrived here for centuries. Our goal? Old Duinyo Lengai, the Maasai Mountain of God, a towering peak that reaches 3,188 meters into the sky. This carbonatite volcano isn't just a geographical marvel, but a sacred site for the Maasai, a place of worship and sacrifice. The thought of the six-hour climb is daunting, no doubt. The steep, rocky terrain is as unforgiving as it is challenging. But there's a certain allure to it, a call to adventure that's impossible to ignore. The trepidation is there, yes, but so is the thrill, the exhilaration of facing the unknown. The path ahead is not easy, but then, the best experiences rarely are. It's a journey that promises to test our limits, physically and mentally. And yet the promise of what lies at the end, the view from the top, is motivation enough. As we trek through the highlands, Olduinyo Lengai looms in the distance, a formidable yet enticing challenge. As we delve deeper into the heartland, the Maasai tribe's vibrant culture begins to unfold. We're now in the heart of the Maasai Mara, where the tribe's customs come alive in a dazzling display of tradition and skill. The air thrums with energy as the Maasai warriors take center stage, 
their lean bodies arcing high into the air in a breathtaking jumping contest. This is the Adumu, a rite of passage that showcases the agility and strength of these warriors. Each leap is an assertion of pride, a testament to their enduring spirit. Yet the Maasai culture is not just about individual prowess, it's about the community, the tribe, the collective. Their homes or manyatas are built in a circular formation, symbolizing unity and shared responsibility. In this communal way of life, everyone has a role to play, from the young boys herding cattle to the elder men providing wisdom and guidance. Now, let's talk about food, a topic that's bound to pique anyone's interest. The Maasai diet is unique to say the least. It's a blend of the traditional and the unusual, a mix that's as intriguing as it is unfamiliar. Meat is a staple, often enjoyed in the form of a communal roast. But it's the consumption of raw blood, drawn straight from the cow, that might raise a few eyebrows. It's a practice steeped in tradition, a symbol of the tribe's intimate connection with the cattle they revere. But it's not all about the exotic. The Maasai also relish simple pleasures, enjoying sweet honey and milk, staples that connect them to the land they call home. As we immerse ourselves in the Maasai way of life, we begin to appreciate the richness and complexity of their culture. We see a people deeply intertwined with nature, living in harmony with the land and the animals. We witness a society rooted in tradition, yet resilient in the face of change. Each day spent with the Maasai tribe is a revelation, a deeper understanding of a world so different from our own. The day of the summit is upon us, and Old Doño Lengai stands tall, a test of our determination. The mountain, rising to over 3,188 meters, is a titan of the Tanzanian landscape. Its name, Old Doño Lengai, translates to the Mountain of God in the language of the Maasai people. This is no ordinary mountain, it's a sacred place, a spiritual beacon that has guided the Maasai for centuries. The climb is a grueling six-hour ordeal, a steep incline that challenges even the most seasoned mountaineers. Every step is a battle of will, a test of endurance, but the promise of the summit keeps us going. The air thins as we ascend, and the world around us seems to shrink. There's just the mountain and us. We are not alone on this endeavor. The Maasai warriors who have joined us on this journey share their wisdom and their strength. They tell us stories of their ancestors, who believe that their god resides on this very mountain. They tell us that to reach the top is to stand in the presence of the divine. The Maasai believe that Old Doinyo Lengai is the home of their deity, Engai. Engai is a dual god embodying both benevolent and wrathful aspects. It's said that the mountain's frequent eruptions are a manifestation of Engai's anger. However, these eruptions also bring forth the mountain's unique carbonatite lava, a substance that enriches the surrounding land, making it fertile for the Maasai's cattle. Thus, the mountain, like Engai, is both a source of fear and a provider of life. The stories of the Maasai warriors fuel us, inspire us. Their faith, their reverence the mountain, for this, it's infectious. It makes every grueling step a little easier, every breath a little steadier. As we approach the summit, the sun begins to rise. The first rays of dawn illuminate the landscape, casting a golden glow on the world below. And then, we're there. The summit of Old Doinyo Lengai. The feeling is indescribable, a cocktail of exhaustion and exhilaration. We've done it. We've conquered not just a mountain but our own limitations. We stand there, on the peak, basking in the glory of the dawn. The view from the top is breathtaking. The vast plains of the Maasai Mara stretch out below us, a tapestry of life and color. It's a moment of triumph, a moment of unity with the land, the people, and ourselves. And as we descend, we carry with us not just the memory of the climb, but a deeper understanding of the Maasai and their connection with this sacred mountain. We realize that the journey was not about conquering the mountain, but about experiencing the Maasai's reverence for it. Standing atop Old Doinyo Lengai, we realize that we have not just conquered a mountain, but also our own limitations. As we descend from the mountain of God, we carry with us not just memories, but profound lessons. The Maasai lands, with its vast expanse of savannas and majestic peaks, have been the backdrop of our journey. A journey that has taught us more about this remarkable tribe and about ourselves. We've trekked through the Ngorongoro Highlands, a landscape so diverse and teeming with life, it's as if nature herself took a brush and painted a masterpiece. Every step we took, every breath we drew, was a testament to the primal beauty of these lands. 
We've been humbled by the sheer magnitude of this terrain, and by the resilience of the Maasai people who call it home. The immersion in the Maasai culture has been a revelation. From the high-spirited jumping contests of the Maasai warriors in Uangan village, to the unique tribal food and customs, we've been privileged to partake in traditions that have remained untarnished by the passage of time. The raw blood, a staple in the Maasai diet, was a strange yet poignant reminder of the tribe's deep connection with their cattle. For the Maasai, their livestock is more than just a source of food, it's a symbol of their identity, their wealth, and their bond with nature. But perhaps the most challenging yet fulfilling part of our journey was the ascent to the peak of Old Doinyo Lengai. The Mountain of God, as it's fondly called by the Maasai, is a towering 3,188-meter-tall carbonite volcano. Climbing it was a six-hour test of endurance, a steep metaphor for the human spirit's ability to overcome. But as we stood at the summit overlooking the Maasai Mara, we realized that the climb was more than just a physical feat. It was a spiritual journey, a pilgrimage that forged an unspoken bond between us, the Maasai people, and the land. We've come away from this journey not just with a deeper understanding of the Maasai culture and a newfound respect for the human spirit, but also with a sense of personal growth. We've been tested, challenged and pushed to our limits, but we've emerged stronger, wiser and richer in experiences. Our journey through the Maasai lands and to the summit of Old Duinyo Lengai has been an unforgettable odyssey, a testament to the richness of the Maasai culture and the power of human spirit.